I'm gonna show you how to assemble IKEA 2 for your double bed. This is the one here. Let's do it. And you're getting four boxes with this IKEA 2 for your double bed. Just gonna open everything up so you have a better idea what you're getting with this IKEA 2 for your bed. Manual instructions you're not gonna need if you're gonna follow this video. So this is all the stuff from all four boxes with the one box of the screws and the brackets. Open them so you're gonna see what you're gonna get regarding the brackets, legs and the screws. So here is those L-shaped brackets. I get the backs of more brackets, legs and one back with the screws. I like to organize them so I know better what I'm working with. There is two similar sizes of the screws, which they are those ones with a round head with the color on the middle and the other one is this one. This one have a flat head and don't have the color part on the middle. So I'm gonna mention them during the assembly, so you're not gonna make mistake where to put which screw. So this is the whole stuff regarding the brackets and screws. Useful tools, electric screwdrivers, I'm using here one bigger one with adjustable torque and one smaller one. If you like to see what I'm using, all the links for the tools are in the descriptions. In the box you're gonna get included the Allen key. So here you got the side panels. The fabric on the side panels curving in, that should be on the outer side. Like that, you see the little bit of fabric coming in on one side and on the other side, so we're gonna leave them on the outer side. We're gonna need two brackets on each side. So this is L-shaped bracket with the one end closed, one end open. So the closed end coming on the inner side, you see those holes, they're gonna line up nicely. When you're gonna put them on the holes, the, this part with the fabric is open on the bracket and this part is closed, there's no fabric coming in. Exactly the same, we're gonna mirror on the other side, so the closed part of the triangle on one side, open on the other side. Two holes, like that, so you see on the inner side the triangle is lining up, on the outer side there is a bit of space, where is the fabric. We're gonna need those flat head screws without the color. Don't make mistake with the screws, you're gonna need the Allen key if you don't have electric scroll driver here. So. I just gonna change that because it's a bit annoying for those screws. So this is the bigger electric screwdriver with the adjustable torque. So you can adjust how hard you wanna go on the screws. Extremely useful tool. As I mentioned, if you like to see what I'm using, all the links for the tools are in the descriptions. So here you attach the first bracket and the second bracket. Exactly the same with two flat headed screws without the color. You have one side ready and we go on the other side. So this is bottom part of the bed. We're gonna do exactly the same with the L-shaped bracket. On this side, the ends of the beds are curved. They're not flat, but exactly the same. The fabric is on the outer side and the brackets are open on the outer side. Inner side, the brackets are closed. Place two flat headed screws without the color for each bracket. You see the inner side of the bracket is lining up with the edge and the outer side of the bracket, the open part, is not lining up with the edge. So that's how it's supposed to be. Do this right, otherwise you're gonna have problem with attaching the legs at the end, you're gonna have to change it. Now we can put them on the side, so the close end of the bracket is on the top. And we're gonna need four of these screws, so this is the colored screws with the round head. And we're gonna need four legs, two at the bottom and two on the top can place the leg in the hole in the corner of the triangle bracket and secure it with one screw. Exactly the same on the other side. So this is bottom part of the bed. You see the end of the bed is slightly curved. Place the leg in to the corner of the triangle bracket and secure it with one screw. That's the screw with the color on the middle and the round head. That's how it looks. See the end of the bed is slightly curved, so that's gonna be bottom of the bed. Here on the top of the bed, exactly the same with the, regarding the legs. The hole on the corner of the triangle, place the leg in and secure it with the screw. And exactly the same with the last one, leg coming in, one screw and secure it. 
So now we have this done. We're going to position the side panels correctly. But before that, we have another two panels. One is shorter, one is longer. The longer panel have a curved side that's going to be bottom of the bed on the middle. So that's middle panel for the bottom of the bed with the curved side. And this side is flat, so that's going to be the front dividing panel or the headboard panel. So we're going to place two wooden plugs on the front dividing panel. Exactly the same on the other side, two wooden plugs. So this is the front dividing panel or the headboard panel or the panel which the headboard going to be attached to. One side is flat, one side is curved. Pay attention later on how I'm going to position it. Here exactly the same, this side is flat, that's the front. And this side is curved, that's going to be the bottom part of the bed. Curved side at the bottom and the round side or the flat side is going to be at the front. Okay, so just position them exactly as, I, as I'm doing here. So the part closer, closer to us is going to be the bottom. You see the flat side is going to be on the top and the fabric, the round part is going to be at the bottom. Here you're going to have those holes on the middle. So two closer holes on the middle and one hole on the top. Exactly the same on the side panel. Two holes closer, one hole outer on the top. So those holes have to line up from with the side panels and bottom and the top panel. So make sure you position this panel correctly, otherwise you're going to have to twist it the other way around. So we find two holes here and secure it together with the side panel. You have to bash it quite hard here as the wooden plugs are quite thick. And we're going to secure it with the two screws without the collar with the flat head. You see I'm not using this uh, small electric screwdriver, this one is a bit stronger and those screws are thick and those connections have to be very tight so I can adjust the torque how hard, depend how hard I want to go on the screws. If the screws stop I just push it a little bit more and it's going to go a bit stronger on the screws or a bit lighter on the screws exactly how I need it. So that's the advantage of this electric screwdriver combination with the drill, so you can use it as a drill. Other side we're going to do exactly the same, just lift the middle part up and connect it with the two wooden plugs on the side with the side panel. Just push it in, make sure you all the way in. Here I have a little bit of hard time to put that screw in, so I'm going to open slightly the left screws in the L-shaped bracket, then I adjust those, I put them in and then I can secure all the screws in once I'm in a good order you see this one was open slightly because I couldn't get the top in and now I can secure them all in so make sure this connection is correct properly tight otherwise this is like a main structure so you can finish it with the allen key just for more tightness in the corners don't go crazy just when you feel enough resistance you can stop those things I just cut them off it went nicely without the scissors so just don't want to have them there to stick out from the bed and this is the bottom panel bottom dividing panel with the curved sides and the hole on the panel are exactly the same as on the middle and dividing panel so two closer one at the bottom and one further on the top position it exactly the same four screws with the flat head without a collar in the middle and we can place it in here you can see how i'm gonna hold it by put my leg under on the middle so it holding holding the height as i don't have one side connected yet and i adjust the other side and i can secure the screws so at the moment I'm holding everything with uh, one leg under so I can secure one side first. Put the two screws in with the flat head without the collar. Secure the connection in the corner. And once I'm done I can finish it with the allen keys just for a bit more tightness. Put the screws want to make sure this connection in the corners are properly done. And now we can secure the other side exactly the same with the two screws with the flat head without the color. Just secure them in completely and we have the main structure of the bed done. Now we're going to do these L-shaped rails. We're going to have two of these and we're going to need first two screws and two of these plastic stoppers. So those plastic stoppers are going to stop the slats from the sliding from the side from the top and bottom. So just place the screw from under and connect it with the plastic. You see the hook pointing to the outer side of the bracket. And we're going to do exactly the same for the second one. The screw from under connecting with the plastic stopper on the top. 
small electric screwdriver is useful. So secure the plastic here from under on the other side of the L-shaped bracket and make sure you're going to the round uh, hole, not to the long hole. So on one side you have long holes, on the other side there is a round hole for the stoppers. So don't mix the holes up. Here we're gonna do exactly the same on the mid beam. Open the mid beam slightly. You're gonna have four holes, so we're gonna work with the two top holes on the mid beam. We're gonna need four of the plastic and four of these screws. Place the screws from under to the outer holes or to the last hole on the mid beam and connect it with the stopper on the top. So those stoppers, they're gonna stop the slats from the sliding off the bed on the middle. So you're gonna have two lines of slats, of the bed slats. So those stoppers are useful. They used to do round one without a hook before, but now those ones, they uh, have better use than the round ones. As see, they, there is a small hook, so the uh, wooden slats, they hook nicely behind them. Exactly the same on the other side of the mid beam. One screw from under, and plastic stopper connecting together. We can put the mid beam on the side. Now we're gonna attach the two brackets, one on the front, one at the back. And we're gonna work with those screws now. We're gonna need four of these. And it's gonna be exactly on the same holes as we did on the side, as we're gonna do on the side. So it's gonna be the middle one. So you're choosing those between those three holes depending on the thickness of your matrats. In this case, we have quite thick matrats with a bit of extension, so it's gonna be another slim matrats on the top of it. So that's gonna be the good height for us. If your matrats is slimmer, then I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you at the end. You can use the top hole, or if your matrats is thicker, you can use the bottom hole. So those three holes are just regarding the adjustment of your matrats. So we put those two brackets for the mid beam on the front and back side. So here exactly the same, we're going to use those screws for a L-shaped rail and we're going to choose the middle hole exactly the same as two brackets, one on the front and at the back. So all going to be in the same line. So the mid holes for this L-shaped bracket, secure all the screws. Sometimes I find it quite hard to get into these screws, but you can just twist the stopper on the side while you fixing the screw. Once you're done, you can just twist it back. On the other side, exactly the same L-shaped bracket, second hole, as we have everything positioned on the second hole now regarding the both L-shaped rails on the side and the brackets for the mid beam on the top and at the bottom. So just secure this L-shaped bracket with the all screws for those holes. So this is the rest of the brackets and the screws which left. Now we're gonna attach the headboard of the bed. This is the most challenging part I found it here in this, uh, for this bed. So pay close attention to this, otherwise you're gonna have a little bit of headache. So here we have the side, it's slightly curved and we're gonna need those brackets. Just place them into the bottom hole, the one without the metal in it, and one here at the bottom. See the bracket is facing down the bottom hole and just place it on the top of the hole. Three screws with a flat head here, it's the silver screws, and secure the each bracket in. Exactly the same on the top for those two. And this one is prepared, we can leave it in the corner. Now you're gonna have those middle ones. You see the holes on the side are long on one side and on the other side exactly the same. But on the other panel, you have two holes here. You see, two holes here the other panel have long hole. So that's the difference between them. On the other side is a long hole. On this one. So you see from this side is exactly the same, but from this side, one have two holes and one have long hole. We're gonna start with this one with the holes. So on one side, you're gonna need two silver screws with the flat head, two brackets. Just place it in to the hole where there's no metal in it pointing down and secure it with one screw. Just place the screw in all the way in so the head is not sticking out at all from the bracket. 
lining up nicely so this is the first one and this is the second ending one the curved one so we're gonna need three brackets here and three silver screws with the flat head regarding those screws make sure you go all the way in so the head's gonna lining up nicely with the bracket let's go all the way in I'm gonna stick out otherwise you're gonna have a little bit of problem with the connecting them together as they're very tight as you're gonna see in the moment just place the three brackets in and secure it with one screw for each bracket Okay, this one is ready now and now this one with the brackets gonna come on the side we're gonna put first one this one so this one have two long holes on the both sides so we're gonna work first with this one and it's gonna go on the right side you're gonna have the holes already there so just push it in to the holes you see that's how it's at the back it's lining up with the back So push the first part of the headboard in all the way in i found this part the hardest one so just follow how i go here so those brackets long holes on the other side so the brackets connecting together with the first part of the headboard so just place them into the holes and slide it down you see they're coming nicely into the long holes from the top exactly the same here and once you get into the holes, slide them in and just push it down. Now you're slightly out because they're not joined completely tight yet. But once you push it in, you're going to be nicely on the top of the holes and you can slide it in. Now you're going to have to push it quite hard from the top to get that in. Just go slowly, be patient. Don't twist them too much. Just pressurize them from the top one side the other side it went quite hard in but i think that's how it's supposed to be so the headboard is nice tightly connected you see i have to bash it <laughs> bash it a bit here and push it like hard from the top but make sure the top is lining up nicely and then you're not gonna have any gaps on the bottom so that's the good position where you want to be see nicely connected together there's no space at all it's very tight and nice lining up on the top now we're gonna go on the right side with the side panel at the back you have a hole which you put the bottom bracket in first and then you put those two brackets on the side so go with the bottom first slide it in make sure you get in first and you're already in place kind of on the side so once you get in you're gonna have this gap here but then you're gonna push it down and gonna reduce that gap to nothing so just push it in slightly i find it hard as well on this side this was helping i was like a twisting from side to side slowly and it was coming up coming in nicely but don't twist it too hard as they are not screwed yet so just be gentle and it you see is moving nicely down all the way in so nicely lining up at the bottom and nicely lining up on the top and this was helping just twisting slightly left and right or in or out the so bottom first on the other side exactly the same bottom first in and now we're connecting the sides so all three brackets are in at this point just push it in and once you're in you're good to go down so just push it all the way down you can push it from both sides can see I'm bashing from the side and the top and it coming nicely down and now you can push it just like that see this twist it it helps it coming nicely in couldn't just push it down but with this twist in and out it was helping so it it, it came nicely in so you see now the headboard is nicely connected or everything is, is lining up two screws one two black and two silvers with the four washers so the silver one we're gonna start with the silver one first one washer place it in and this long one come into the sides i find it quite hard to find the hole so i have to tweak a little bit the top so i push the top just twist it slightly towards you or out of you exactly the same on the other side the silver long screw with the one washer and you see i'm pushing it slightly in till I see the hole is there and then I can connect the side panel in you're gonna feel the grip so once there is no grip the the screw is gonna spin so just try to twist the whole panel slightly towards you or out in this case was uh, was working towards me now we're gonna have those those black screws and we're gonna place one more share on each of them and we can secure the middle part of the headboard now just secure it in 
finish with the allen key which i can provide in a box twist it all the way make sure you have nice strong connection here this is important one as well so the whole headboard gonna hold nicely you see once you tighten the screws it tightened the whole headboard to the bottom panel completely it's nice looking headboard one is done it's just a bit of headache to join them together but it looking uh, the bed looking quite nicely with all this uh, fabric on it now we can position the bed in place and we're gonna have the mid beam so we're gonna hook the mid beam on the brackets one at the front open it up and hook it at the back a bed slots two sets so one it's on one side hook it on the stoppers which we did previously on the rail and on the mid beam and slide it down nicely all the way and hook it at the bottom into the stoppers there it is it hooks in place and it's not gonna go anywhere as they connect it on the middle and they hooked on the top and the bottom exactly the same on the other side hook it on the top on the headboard part slide them all the way down and hook it on, on the bottom there it is nicely connected holding in place that's how the connection is on the stopper on the middle on the sides now we have the mattress in this case it's uh, pressured so open it up gonna take a few hours to extend but i'm just gonna show you how thick is the mattress so you have an idea where to position the rails so you see that's how thick is the mattress here and that's how much it's gonna stick out so you can decide if you want to go with the bottom holes or with the top holes tip and how you like the mattress to stick out from the bed in this case we have this small mattress on the top so it's gonna be even higher so that's how it looks with the, those two mattresses on the top and this is it, I get two for your double bed. I hope you enjoyed. If yes, thumbs up, subscribe to the channel as always. You will make my day and see you in my next one very, very soon. Thank you for watching. Have a fantastic day. So as always, always. And you can have it, you can have it. This is Ikea two for your double. Today I'm gonna show you. Today I'm gonna show you how to. Two for two for two made my day, made my day. <laughs> Cut, cut, cut. Tired, man. Let's do it.